This is it. This is the one. This is the one I'm gonna get. Three thousand dollar speaker. D A S. Uh, twenty two inch. What's happening? What's going on? I am currently in uh, beautiful St. Thomas. Look at this. Look at this. This is sick. Check this out. That's kind of the reason why you have not been getting videos from me. But uh, I am flying back today. So if you're watching this video on time, I will be home by the time you're watching this video. Just want to update you guys on what exactly is going on. As you guys know, I haven't really been posting videos and it's because I've been here for the last, I don't know, eight, 10 days or something like that. But uh, I'm flying back home today, which means the videos are back. We're going back to uh, cranking out three to five videos a week with the exception of this week. This week, you're probably only going to get two being this video that you're going to watch and then uh, maybe another one, maybe Thursday or something like that. I'm not sure yet. We'll play it by ear. Next week, we're going full force, maybe three, maybe five videos a week. Now, I did shoot a couple of videos that I did not get to edit while I was out here. I was hoping to get a lot more editing done, but that was a lot easier said than done. So uh, I want to share with you guys a vlog, a video that I actually just recorded um, about two, three days right before I left for this trip. And it's a vlog that I think you guys are particularly going to like because we went subwoofer shopping. That's right. We went subwoofer shopping. For those of you guys who follow me on social media, you guys already know what the deal is, what's going on. But for those of you who don't know, check out this video where we head to Canal Sound and Light. Big shout out to my friends over at Canal Sound and Light. And we go speaker demoing, subwoofer demoing, and shopping. So check this out. Leave some questions, comments, and concerns down below. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for another vlog. You probably won't be seeing these St. Thomas vlogs for a couple of weeks or so. Get ready for that. That's going to be exciting. Here we go. Enjoy. What's up, bros? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome to New York City. I'm here with the homie DJ Blenny D. And we are headed to ooh, Canal. Canal Sound Light with my friend Jeffrey Kwan. And we are gonna go check out uh, some speak. I don't know if I mentioned this in the vlog. Actually, I didn't mention it in the vlog, but I did sell my subwoofers. I sold them. PRXs are now gone, and we're just gonna get the matching SRX subs. Um, I was debating on whether or not to get something <laughs> off-brand. A lot of you guys were saying, oh, don't get the SRXs and stuff, but I just, at this point, I just wanna match it. I honestly don't use my subwoofers that much. So, um, I made some money on top of it because I had two subwoofers, and now I'm only gonna get one. So, uh, it just made sense, as opposed to just having the speakers just sit in my storage. So now I'm just gonna get one that I can use more often. So uh, here we go, we're going to Canal, and we're gonna pick up some speakers, maybe even demo some other ones. So uh, let's do this, let's do this. Woo, it's a cold one out here in New York City. All right, bros, check it out, here we are. And uh, this is the one, this is the one right here, the Dual 18. That's what you need, bro. About this on your l -truss. What's up, man? Good to see ya. Hey, what's up, Bar? Welcome back to the vlog, man. Yeah, well, welcome back to the shop. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to test out some gear with you. So what are we taking a look at today, man? I think we wanted to take a look at some subs. These are the new QSC subs. I was just telling him that uh, I don't know how I feel about the look of these. These are better than the KWs or what? Uh, different. No, the KWs are more expensive, right? Yeah. See, yeah. I don't know if it makes sense, but I always equate price to how good it is. I know that's a bad. The, the KW has an 18 inch. These are what? These are 12. This is a single 12. This is a dual 12. These and, look um, fun. The C means cardioid. It means that they're directing all the sound in front of the sub. Kind of like a heart shaped pattern in front of the subwoofer. My friend has a KWs yeah. and they're punchy, man. They they yeah. knock. Form factor is small too, which I like. This is the big boys here. This is the yeah. Sony Theta ones. Do people yeah. still use these? Yeah, people are. The reason why we have them is because people ask for them. Two wheels in the back. It's deep, man. It's huge, man. Only Sony Zeros is probably. You know about that Sony Zero lifestyle, yeah. that culture? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Sony Zero vlogs lately. Kind of jealous because they're pulling crazy views. They're pulling a lot of gear. Though. The, the, yeah, that's the thing. People love gear, and Sony Zeros they have like gear for days. They're they're big on um like line arrays and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we have four sets of line arrays. Zero twelve and the thirty five hundred a piece. <laughs> 
That's the Vantec Mini. <laughs> That's a uh, 1899 is the, is the regular price. We got the VRX, oh. and then we have the uh, RCF HDL 6s, wow. and then we have the HDL 20s. You saw my video, Boxes right? On the RCF? <laughs> yeah. RCF? What'd yeah, you think yeah. of that? People were saying that I did it wrong. Uh, the biggest complaint that we had on that video was they said I might refilm it They said it wasn't cool that I did it off an iPad. That they was should run it through a mixer or something. Yeah They told me I should have ran it through a mixer and then the second biggest complaint was that I didn't mess that I didn't EQ it But I don't think no, that would have been fair. That would have been fair, right? Because if you start you EQing it, that. that's not a fair comparison, right? Yeah, you should just stick yeah. natural out of the box, right? Everything flat. We keep everything flat here. It has to be flat because yeah. when you get home and just like whoa This doesn't sound anything like what I expect. All right today's all about subs So walk us through what you got we got the this is Sirwin Vega. Yeah, this is Sirwin Vega <laughs> They're known they're known for the folded horn the folded horn earthquake now. This is the powered version Well, this is a powered version of Sir. Yeah, man, we've come a long power. way. We got the Vantec 18 Which is very popular. This is their dual Vantec. This is the dual version of that pretty good price but then also you got the JBL which kind of hits a little deeper the double double 18 as well and Yeah, we got the SRX single 18 nice this guy's a mall, but Beastie That's sub. Fun. What is yeah, that? It's the RCF sub 8003. And we still have a bunch of subs down here too. We have the ETX ETX people love the EVs. We got to do that shootout video EV versus JBL. So here we go bros We are gonna try out some subs and see which one uh, which one we like. Yeah hit us with uh some of that house music right now we have the uh, Vantec 15 so that's gonna be our controlled so this will be our control as our highs this is what always gonna be playing highs keep that in mind the bass though that you're gonna be hearing is gonna be coming from these bad boys over here all right bros here we go right now this is our control uh, DAS DAS just heard was the single and now we're moving on to the double go ahead on the double here we go whoa whoa the building's gonna be down That's a lot of bass. <laughs> That's a little scary. All right, next up, Sir Winbega. That's deep. That's too deep. Yeah, it's really clear. Yo, no, RCF. So here we go. We heard a lot of these and I'm gonna tell you my unbiased opinion. Nobody's paying us to say this uh, These they were just really harsh. It almost like sounded like distorted. It reminded me of like a Mexican baile Isn't that right? What? The Sir Juan Vegas It's super deep This one this one was not good. I have to I'm sorry, but it was just not that good The, highs are nice. the high was really good, but the bass was not it, was, it just I didn't like it. This was super it was a super deep bass Which sounded kind of echoey and it's, it's not a sound that I like these were clean I have to admit I, you you guys are thinking I'm biased, but these were like definitely the clearest those were the ones that Thump the most if that makes sense these definitely had a a deep kick and honestly they were louder This little guy here was louder than this big guy here, but the issue with this one was that it wasn't clear. Would you agree? It's not clear. It, it wasn't, right? It is super for the, punchy. For the, for the size of it, compared to this one, you heard, the, yeah. you heard it and it's like, it's punchy. The RCF, again, the RCF has been impressing me. This was super, super punchy. Which I'm ones did you know, like? Honest truth between me, if you're going for punchy wise, RCF is good, it's only one. It's, yeah. it's only one too. That little guy is honestly louder than that one. I don't know. We, we kind of pair these up with the Ray. These, uh, th those are very punchy. They're EQ pretty low. You want that extra ability to, to go for it if you need to. Yeah. But then it's also like two grand retail, and this is pretty low excursion, so you can extend the. Uh, 
probably bigger hall and stuff. I really like that RCF, but it was just, it was harsh, you don't think? I, it, it almost sounded like distorted at well, some point. It was so deep. You're gonna hear it differently too because you're gonna have more space to play with. Take the serve and leave <laughs> that was Sonidero style, bro. <laughs> Sounded like some mean corridos were coming out of that. Get four of them. Get four some of narco them, corridos, yeah. Get, get, get four, four of them. Alright, I think we made our, our choice. I was definitely not impressed by these two here. I'm sorry. SRX was clean, it was clear. RCF bumps, man. Holy crap. <laughs> One of the reasons why we actually like this guy that this guy has over anybody else, any of the other subs, is that this is a flyable sub. So we do a lot of installs. You can fly this. Yeah, so that's the, the, the one advantage for a club that none of these other guys can do. So you're saying you can't fly that? <laughs> <laughs> Bros, check it out. We almost knocked down the ceiling. We <laughs> the ceiling's coming down. It honestly did feel like the building was coming down. What the? Between the blue one, the <laughs> yeah, with the yeah. dual SRX and the RC. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is it. Go for it. Woo! We're gonna check out. One with a brake, one without on each, each side. side. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, if you're traveling with it, and they might just roll away. Casters are on. <laughs> Check it out. And uh, this is it. This is what we're gonna be working with. Uh, not often, believe it or not. You guys are probably not gonna be seeing much of this because it's only gonna come out to the same events that the PRXs were going out to, <laughs> which were only the big ones. Uh, smaller events, mm, you're probably not gonna be seeing it much. Maybe like. Once a month, you might be seeing it. <laughs> Which in gig log time means like once every three months. So uh, yeah, this is it, SRX. We unboxed it, we previewed it, we demoed it. Uh, biggest reason why I went with it, just consistency, <laughs> uniformity, just matching the speakers. Ain't that right? Are you, yeah. I mean, there were some great sounding subs out there. We tried them out. But honestly, I, at this point, I just wanted something that was uniform. I just wanted something to replace my PRXs. And uh, Jeffrey hooked me up with a great deal. So I had to do it. I had to get the SRX Duel. And who knows when the first time I use this is going to be. <laughs> it probably won't be for a long time. Blenny might actually be using more than me. He does those big, uh, those big Mexican parties that love the bump. I do the more American parties and they don't want too much bass. Isn't that right? about that base. That's what it's all about. All right, uh, I think that's gonna conclude it for this video. What did we learn? Nothing. Are you gonna have some people uh, dance on top of that thing? Yeah, that's the, my idea. Yeah. Really what I just came here and bought is a stage. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna hop on there with a the CO2 gun. They're gonna yeah. blast the crowd. It's gonna look it's gonna dope. Club, you know? That's the idea. We used to have these at the club I worked at. We had two of them. We had two of them stacked up and we used to hire dancers to dance on top of them. Yeah. So you got that vision. That's that's what I'm trying to recreate. We're gonna get sexy ladies in bikinis dancing on them. Get ready. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you. Those videos are gonna be awesome. Million view videos. Shout out to all my fans. We were taking pictures with my fans over there. I don't know if you guys can see them. <laughs> Jeffrey told them I was coming over and the fans showed up. <laughs> all right, uh, Jeffrey, thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, the awesome customer service. Check Jeffrey out, guys. Canal Sound Light everywhere on social media. That's gonna do it for this video, bros. Thank you so much. Thank you to Jeffrey. Thank you to Canal Sound Light. And uh, thank you to the homie Blenny D for helping me put this in the car. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're new around here, and if you really want to help us out, don't forget to turn on that bell so you can be notified next time we come down here and film another video. We're filming the ETX versus JBL SRX speaker uh, in like two, three weeks. So get ready for that. It's going to be exciting, isn't it? Peace out, bros. Peace, peace, peace. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Tap it.